I'm going to be very blunt and very honest with you guys because I want that if you're watching this video, you know the things you're going to expect when you come to Korea Strands uh, Hotel. guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be reviewing my stay at cora strand um, hotel in buvalon seashells so guys we landed here by 3 a.m and when we landed um there was nobody at the reception so the security guys here they were able to get us a room to just like rest till this morning and we we're about to check in but they told us that we can go and have like tea you know the experience so far has been amazing because they gave us a room to sleep we didn't sleep at the reception which is like really cool some hotels will say oh wait till your check-in time you know oh yeah so right now i'm about to have tea i've had my rest and i'm about to have tea and some snacks offer you a complimentary like tea and snack and this is where you will come and have it you sit here or you sit somewhere else and just have your tea while they get your room ready and then downstairs here you have the um, breakfast area and some people are having breakfast guys we're still waiting to get our room we're still cleaning it up so we're just seated at the reception so um this just need to put this band right just like this and it's going to open 
we walked into the room and there are flowers on the bed so beautiful <laughs> oh god um so this is the tour of the room um this is the bathroom There's my shower. There's a fruit mat in here. <laughs> this flower thing is just making me laugh, honestly. But it's really cool. Um, this is the mirror. Um, toilet. Toilet here. This mirror is so important. I mean, I can just do. Um, can just take mirror picture. Hey, 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 this mirror go here and more. Hey. So yeah, this mirror. I think this is the wardrobe section. So there's a safe here. There's a blanket here. Some sleepers. Cover strands. And there's a fridge here as well. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay. And of course, there's a TV here. So yeah, basically, this is the room. And then our view. So guys, um, I was in this hotel for seven days. And my experience so far has been good. I really loved the hotel. So I'm going to start with the pros. So I'm going to tell you like what I really enjoyed about um, the hotel. And if you should actually stay in Cora Strands Hotel. So um, my experience in Cora Strands Hotel was really good. I really loved that their staff, they're very nice. It was really neat. The floors, they were cleaning the room when we wanted them to clean it they always make sure that they put supplies in the toilet and in the room so i didn't have any issue with that um it is really safe like the security here it's safe you can just walk around and i honestly love that the hotel is just beside the Bouvalon beach so once you come out from your room you can just walk straight to the beach they're like chairs um you sit down and then you have a good time the buvalon beach is um one of the most popular um beaches in mahe and mahe is the biggest island in seychelles so yeah i'm very happy that we stayed here because it was just it was just very strategic like, and when you come out from the hotel like there are restaurants there are different places that you can just walk to their food yes the food was good um breakfast is complimentary so we had a good time um there was a variety of food available for us to eat and the taste of the food as well was really good so i really liked that the food here was good security like i mentioned was good the facilities inside the room were working the tv was working the AC, air conditioner was working as well. The toilet was really the, all the things inside the toilet, the bathroom was clean. Then we got a mountain view. So like you can view the mountains from the room. I'm going to be posting a video of my experience in seashells. Um, if you're watching this video, just make sure that you look out for that video the pool is very clean and i also like that they have a pool for kids so if you're coming here with like tiny kids babies they can actually play in their own pool so i really like that about the hotel i like that the staff here they're always smiling it's as if they don't have wala they're always just smiling hi 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 everyone is greeting you you know hope you're good did you enjoy your breakfast do you need anything you know they're very nice and most of the staff here can speak french they can speak english some of them can speak italian you know language will not be a problem for you because they have like staff that can speak different languages so that's a plus for me um so these are the pros right these are the things i really enjoyed about Cora strand hotel so i'm going to go on to talk about the cons like what are the things that i didn't like about the hotel i'm going to be very blunt and very honest with you guys because i want that if you're watching this video 
you know the things you're going to expect when you come to Cora Strand's uh, hotel. One thing I didn't like about the hotel is that when we first arrived, they put us in a room downstairs. That's the ground floor. And we were seeing ants, ants, ants like on the floor. It was a lot. Like when we entered, like, maybe just one or two. Huh. If you see, when we woke up the next morning, there were so many ants. Like, am I going to be living with ants? Like, did I leave my country and come to see just come and pay in a room where I'll be where I'll be staying with ants? So it was very irritating. What we did was that I think when I saw this ant in the evening, I quickly complained to them. But I don't think can we get a room maybe upstairs i don't know why they're aunt in the room and they say oh there are no rooms available because this is peak period so because we visited seashells during valentine's so it was like peak period for them so people were coming like they didn't have room but the next morning i woke up when i went into the toilet to use the, the toilet there was just so many ants on the floor it was really irritating like i immediately went to the reception and like i can't stay in this room you guys need to look for another room for me i'll just give me my money go to another hotel because i would like leave my country and come to another country come to, in my house i don't stay with ants why am i why am i going to stay with ants in an hotel hotel though that we paid plenty money for you know so i complained and at first they were first saying we don't have any rooms and all of that we had to change it for them like are you people serious right now we can't stay in that room and the thing is i think that they know that the rooms downstairs usually have ants and because they know they want us to like just force us to stay inside stay inside and i was just so irritated i'm like what's this one uh -uh. are you doing us a favor to stay in the hotel Did we, didn't we pay you like is it free of charge um, we changed it for them and then they said okay no problem that they're going to change the room so they changed the room from where we were upstairs so when we came upstairs there were no uh, there were no ants so yeah if you want to visit seashells and you plan to stay in Cora strand i advise that you don't stay on the ground floor um we didn't have any ant experience in top the room that they brought us to like the upstairs room so i think that maybe it's just generally like a downstairs um, something i didn't like that can you see let me show you guys like their table is very short you can't put anything there's already you can't put anything there's already like this um kettle this tray for mugs and then the telephone so if you plan to walk like you want to bring your laptop and walk there's no space to put anything on the table there's no space so what we used to do is i would take out this um the the this and put on the tape on the bed you know it's just not com comfortable yeah i just needed to point out and show you guys the table the table is very small which in my opinion is like very ugly you can't do anything on the table so if you plan to like visit seashells and maybe walk this table will not do it for you then it has just one chair so like i came here with my husband and then i and my husband he will sit on the one the one chair that's available I'll sit on the bed and i really think that they would have had like maybe two chairs so that if we, both of us want to sit on a chair we don't one person don't have to sit on the table sit on I really think that they should have had two chairs in the room. Then the one that pain me and pass. I think this one. <laughs> Guys, their Wi-Fi in Cora Strand Hotel is shitty. So if you are come it like the Wi-Fi is good if you want to chat on WhatsApp. Chat on WhatsApp. If there was there's I didn't have any issues chatting on WhatsApp. But see, even to do video calls on whatsapp i could not do proper video calls it would be shaking so and that's why i need to mention to you guys that if you're coming to cora strands for to stay and maybe walk let's say you have to walk you have to check your emails you know send out emails it might not be convenient for you because you're going to struggle with the network the wi-fi was just up and down and everywhere it was good for whatsapp i couldn't even do like youtube so if i can't do youtube i can't send out emails what can i do with it, with the wi-fi i mean other than the wi-fi and then this table and then the ant issue that i mentioned earlier on that's all i can say that i didn't like about cora strands hotel other than that the hotel my experience here was fantastic 
um, so if I'm going to rate this hotel, I'm going to give them a 7 over 10 because they need to work on the other things that I've mentioned that I didn't like. Yeah, they need to work on all those things. Wi-Fi is super important. Like you're living your country and you need to be able to communicate, keep tabs with your family members. And if your Wi-Fi is fucking up, like you will just be angry because it's like you are in the dark. What is happening? I need to be connected to the real world. I'm not saying that she Seychelles is not the real world, but I'm like, you need to be connected to your family members to work, you know. So if you're coming here for business maybe or you get a sim and get your own internet because the wi-fi in the hotel is not good at all i enjoyed my stay here it was a peaceful stay i loved it the ambience is beautiful you can come out and take a walk the reception area is beautiful you know really beautiful hotel and very strategic the location was very strategic and i think that's a plus because as you're coming out you're seeing the beach and the area around the hotel as well is very like lively you know like people are walking on the street these things are things that i always look out for when i'm trying to like book a hotel in a country that i have not visited before i don't want to be in a place that is too quiet because if it's too quiet i feel like hey something can it's not as if something bad cannot happen in a busy place but me i don't like quiet <laughs> I want to come out on the street and I see like people walking, taking a stroll, you know, so those kind of things, especially in a country that I don't know. When I see people walking on the road and I am like, I am more relaxed. I feel like, oh, okay, people are here, people are here, you know, that's the feeling I get. And Coral Strand Hotel totally gave me that vibe. Like it was all fun and cruel all the, all the way. Oh yeah. So this is my like review of Cora Strand. I hope that um, you've gotten enough information from this video in case you're trying to make a decision about Cora Strand. I'm just going to leave it there. Share it. Do what you want to do with this information. Thank you once again for watching my video. Please do not forget to um, watch my videos. I'm going to be posting videos about my experience in seashells all the beautiful things I did, all the fun places I went to. I visited La Ligue, Praline, um, Valle de May. I visited Ansel, ah, Anselazo Beach. Um, I visited a lot of beautiful places. I went into a submarine. I saw the fishes. You know, I did a lot of fun things here in Seychelles. So, if you want to see that video, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you click on the notification bell so you can get notified when I post those videos. Yeah, so this, this is it. Thank you for watching my video once again. I'll, I'll see you guys in my next video.